Hi, I'm Michelle Ali Murati. Coming up next on the St. Paul Forum, we'll be talking to Mary Ray about lawhelpmn.org. Hello, you're watching the St. Paul Forum on SPNN. I'm Michelle Ali Murati, host of Truth to Tell Community Connections series. I'm filling in as your host today. And I'm sitting here with Mary Ray of Legal Services State Support in Minnesota. And uh, we're here to talk about your website, lawhelpmn.org. Um, right. Before we get started on that, uh, mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about the hierarchical relationship here of law help and then with uh, legal services state support in general. How, how does that work, Mary? Well, lawhelpmn.org was developed as a project of legal services state support. And legal services state support is a project of seven uh, legal aid programs around the state. And back in 1981, those seven legal aid programs all got together and decided that they could work together um, to leverage their resources and um, not duplicate their services even though each program was serving a different part of the state um, and and providing legal aid men so they they all got together and said let's let's work together to provide continuing legal education and let's work together to um, just leverage our resources do better work for more people mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so. And so now in the internet age, uh, mm -hmm. everybody's jurisdiction is everywhere, pretty much. That's right. Um, and yeah. so now I suppose this helps you have an even further reach of uh, people that weren't necessarily in more concentrated cities or uh, It absolutely does. Areas. Yeah, yeah. In, in 1981 when the coalition was formed and, and um, the work of the coalition commenced, which was uh, um, legal education for attorneys working in legal aid and then community education. Mm -hmm. You know, we were still printing things, you know, we were doing community education booklets and fact sheets, which, which were great, but we had to take those out to offices around the state, mail them out to offices around the state, and people, you know, had to come and pick them up to read about what their legal rights and responsibilities mm -hmm. were and read a f printed phone number in a book and, you know, as things were changing, it, it took a while to catch the information up because it was mostly in print, mostly in word of mouth, and then you know, with the internet age, of course, everything can be put online. So it's been a great boon to reaching more people who really need uh, the services of legal aid and maybe don't live close to an office, maybe they're in a rural area, or they just want to um, find out if they have a legal issue to begin with or just find out, well, what are my rights? Mm -hmm. You know. Maybe they don't have a legal issue, or maybe they've got a serious legal issue and they know they need legal help. And I've got to get to legal aid, and what's the fastest way to do that? They don't open the phone book anymore. Yeah. They go right online. So, yeah. 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 Well, and so this is essentially a, sort of a brief legal library, is it not? That's a, that's a good way of putting it, yes. Okay. It, it is a, a legal, an online legal resource. What the, the Law Help site is, lawhelpmn.org, is mostly comprised of our um, fact sheets. And fact sheets are a, like a one to three page kind of overview of a legal issue. Let's say that your legal issue is eviction. You know, you're a tenant and your landlord wants to evict you, evict you and you don't believe that it, what is being done is, is right, you know, but you really don't know. It's like, mm -hmm. well, I don't know. I've never been. No one's tried to evict me before. I lost my job. I haven't paid my rent for a month. Can they just lock me out? That kind of thing. Exactly. You can go to lawhelpmn.org and go to the topic, the main topic, housing. And then within that topic, you'll see various subtopics. You know, mm -hmm. how to rent an apartment. What does it mean to sign a lease? What happens if I get evicted? And then you click on the subtopic that you're interested in and you'll see a list of resources. Some of those resources are fact sheets. We also have a booklet. But a fact sheet would be like a quick overview. What mm -hmm. is eviction? 
you know, and then it answers your questions. And you may read it as a user, you may read it and go, oh, okay, mm, okay, I guess I need to, you know, this is what I need to do. Or, well, what they're doing isn't really evicting me. I just got a letter from the landlord saying, you know, we really need you to, you know, pay your rent, you're overdue or whatever. So it really helps clarify things for people. I think often when it comes to civil legal things, we're unsure. You're unsure whether or not you have a real case Mm -hmm. and, and whether it's worth paying the money to actually get official legal consult, I'm right. sure. So this is sort of a first step in deciding whether or not you need to spend that money to try to pursue, you know, go against your landlord in a case of eviction or... Well, it's um, really, yeah, exactly. It's really, a bank, right? Right. Yeah. It's really a way to, to, to be informed, mm -hmm. to get the information to see if you even need to make a decision. Maybe you just need to get the information. And as far as paying an attorney, the, the lawhelpmn.org site is connected with legal aid. And that's the seven legal aid programs that our office supports. And legal aid is free legal help. So if you get referred to a legal aid attorney vis-a-vis -vis our site, you're okay. not going to pay. So you can actually do this for free or I'm sure low cost in some instances, or is it all totally free? Well, you know, I, I think to really answer that question, mm -hmm. I, I should say a little bit about what is legal aid. Okay. Legal Let's aid do that. legal aid is a is a is a, a group of attorneys who provide free representation for people that are of limited income. Mm -hmm. And for the purposes of legal aid in Minnesota, limited income would be 125% of the federal poverty guideline. And the federal poverty guideline is established by the federal government every mm -hmm. year. In 2013, in fact, um, in February, the, the federal poverty guidelines came out for 2013. And the, let's see, I wrote this down, 125% of the, the 2013 federal poverty guideline for a family of four right now is a little over $29,000. For a family of four. For a family of four. And that's 125% of the federal poverty guideline, which is generally where you need to be to qualify for legal aid. Mm -hmm. So if you're on the legal aid site and you, you know, think, wow, I really, I think I need a lawyer. Like I've read this, this fact sheet on eviction. I think I'm being unlawfully evicted. I think I need to contact a lawyer and you make, you know, 29000 for or a little bit less, then mm -hmm. definitely you should go to your local, local legal aid office and you will get legal help and it'll be free, you know, if, okay. if the attorney there determines that you, you have a case. Now, but as far as oh, the ahead. information that's available on the site, that's accessible to anyone That is no accessible cost. to anyone at no cost. doesn't okay. matter what your income is, you know, yeah. And, and on the... Uh, subject of being accessible, I yeah. noticed that uh, <laughs> yeah. you also have several different languages for many of these documents. That's um, right. I, I noticed uh, Arabic, uh, looked like there was several uh, East African languages and uh, several in Spanish. Spanish, I, Somali. Yeah. yeah. We have actually two mirror sites. We have a Spanish mirror site and a, and a Somali mirror site, Somali Law Help mn.org and that has a lot of resources in Somali okay. and that's because of the populations here in Minnesota mm -hmm. we're trying to serve them ideally we would like to have every one of our resources available in all languages but that's a huge task because they're legal resources mm -hmm. so they have to be translated by a credible translator and then of course you know the law the accuracy of how the law is being expressed has to mm -hmm. be you know dealt with too. So that's a that's a big job, but we are trying to do it. And we're doing it well. I think I think we have the most resources in Spanish and Somali, but we do have many resources in those other languages that you mentioned too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so um, what let's talk about the process then. So I'm an okay. individual with an issue. Um, I'll mention something that came up uh, during one of the shows that we did on Truth to Tell a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. uh, we had a woman on our show who was dealing with foreclosure, mm -hmm. and uh, she was able to get help, or people who were willing to help her, mm -hmm. but she had to get her taxes in order. Uh -huh. And apparently, you know, it's very easy to find help with your current tax return for mm -hmm. free or very low cost, but getting help with back taxes. Mm -hmm. um, would your site be a resource for someone dealing with something like that. Absolutely, okay. and I'm glad you brought up taxes because it's tax time. Mm -hmm. And on the front page of lawhelpmn.org, there is a tax time toolkit. And okay. what that toolkit basically does is take you to a resource page where resources about taxes have been 
you know, kind of gathered together on one page. It's a list of links about, you know, um, your rights uh, with taxes, with revenue, revenue recapture, with the renter's refund, whatever the, the, the topic might be as far as, as um, Minnesota taxes go and federal taxes go, you know, how to claim the right. And if you're having mm -hmm. problems with your taxes, there's also links for free legal help. And you might qualify for an attorney, particularly okay. if you're, you know, having a problem and you haven't been able to pay taxes and someone's trying to capture your, any refund you might get or even your wages. You know, sometimes that happens and there are definitely tax lawyers available. For limited income people, those attorneys would be free. And for current or even past tax situations. Absolutely. So I think that can be a huge barrier for some people. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. other issues, that, you know, I was surprised to see divorce on the list, oh, yeah. something that you can get help with. It seems like kind of a complex mm -hmm. legal issue. So how would, how would someone, mm -hmm. uh, what kind of help would you get mm -hmm. through uh, Law Help MN? Well, if you go to Law Help MN, Dot .org, one of the first topics you'll see is family law. Mm -hmm. And family law would be things like divorce, establishment of paternity, any paternity problems, child custody problems. Mm -hmm. You know, in divorces, there can be a lot of, of problems and disagreement. Um, you'll find information on family mediation, how to, you know, avoid going to court in a divorce. Um, maybe it's something that the two people can just agree about, and then the divorce, as you mentioned, is very simple. Mm -hmm. You know, it's when it gets complex when there's disagreement and when children are involved. Yeah. And actually, sometimes, you know, for the general public, as we mentioned, who may not actually need an attorney at all, but they just don't know how to go about filing for divorce alone. You know, I really, maybe I make a little bit too much money, but I really don't want to pay for legal help because I think. Well, this is pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. We have Form Helper on our site, and on that site are automated forms for uh, filling out your divorce divorce papers right online. And it's really simple, and the form is automated, so it kind of talks you through it, asks you the questions, and you can save your work and come back to it later. Maybe you mm -hmm. have to go get some financial information and come back and plug it into the form. and then Kind of similar to like um, if people have used like an H&R Block online service. TurboTax. Turbo tax. Yeah, for divorce. Like that. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> I just want to remind people that you are watching the St. Paul Forum on SPNN, and we're sitting here today with Mary Ray, who is with Legal Services State Support, and we are talking today specifically about Law Help MN, which is an online resource uh, for several civil legal matters. Um, also offered in many different languages, we mm -hmm. found out. Um, and we were talking about divorce just now, mm -hmm. and you had mentioned a story earlier um, about a woman who approached you with a domestic violence issue, um, mm -hmm. and, and that also crossed over into a, an eviction mm -hmm. issue, or, mm -hmm. or, or sorry, breaking a lease. Breaking a lease, yeah. Um, and so uh, please uh, elaborate on that, because this <laughs> yeah. is, um, you know, talking about ways that this can help you uh, there's lots of statutes and things that, that come up that people aren't always aware of because they aren't uh, publicized necessarily. And how does, how does Law right. Help MN work with that? That's right. Well, one of the things that Law Help MN does is connect you with uh, your local legal aid office, as we've mentioned, if you need to go in and talk to somebody and get some legal help. And frequently people will, if they're in proximity to an office, just go to their legal aid office. They may pass it, you know, in St. Cloud, they may drive by, oh, that's legal aid. Mm -hmm. um, the particular story I was talking about was a woman in St. Cloud who did, um, she actually went to her legal oh, aid office. Oh, she did go in the office. Right, okay. she went into the office and, and she was trying to get out of a lease. She felt um, uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. She had an order for protection against her ex, and she, but she felt like being in that apartment was not safe. He knew where she lived. And so she wanted to get out of the lease, um, but she didn't know if, if it was legal. So mm -hmm. she went into the office and the legal aid attorneys there assured her that actually there was one lawful way to break a lease, and that was if she was a victim of domestic violence, which she was, and she was mm -hmm. extremely relieved to know that. And she wouldn't have known it because it's a law that hasn't existed for that mm -hmm. long in Minnesota. She wouldn't have known it. Um, and there's a fact sheet about um, a domestic violence victim's right to break their lease on Law Help MN. So you could have, she could have gone there and found it too. In this case, she happened to go to the office. Mm -hmm. But another feature of lawhelpmn.org that I work on that I wanted to tell you about, Michelle, is live chat. 
Okay. And that is a function of the website where, say you're on the website and you're looking around, okay, I can't really, I'm not really sure where to look. I don't really know what kind of legal issue this is. Mm -hmm. And there are, as, as easily as the website is laid out, some people are just not comfortable poking around a website, mm -hmm. even if it seems really straightforward, and I think Law Help is. Mm -hmm. um, she, um, or, or in this case, you know, I am on as a live chat operator. And if, if the person can't find something, they click a little button, and then um, the, um, the operator comes on. In this case, it would be me. Mm -hmm. And the person just, it's like instant message. The person just types in, you know, okay, I'm looking, this is what I'm looking for. I want to get a divorce. I have kids. We can't agree. Mm -hmm. um, and then I come on and say, hi, you know, um, can I get you to answer yes or no? There's a brief disclaimer saying that I'm not an attorney, so I can't mm -hmm. give you legal advice. And then basically I uh, show the person where to find the information. I might put a link right into the chat. Okay, mm -hmm. here's a fact sheet on your right to break your lease if you mm -hmm. if you don't feel safe. Um, and so it's and another thing that's great about live chat too is if you know in the course of a chat, I determine wow somebody this person really needs a lawyer mm -hmm. and I'm not a lawyer but I can tell that they really need one. Maybe they've said they had a court date coming up and they're not sure what to do and they don't have any money, or you know maybe they need to fill out an order for protection because they're afraid for their child and their own safety, mm -hmm. um, I can immediately refer them to a legal aid office so they don't have to try to figure out, okay, where do I go, what do I do? Mm -hmm. I can say by county, where do you live, what's your zip code, and then tell you, okay, call this number. And then it's, immediate, it's an immediate connection to a legal aid office. But often during these chats, it's apparent that the person just needs information. Mm -hmm. They really don't have a legal problem yet, and I think that's one of the best things about the site is it's preventative. Maybe you just need to find out what your what your legal rights are, you know. And you find out, and you go, "Oh, they can't do this to me." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, I say this all the time uh, in my circle of friends that wouldn't it be nice if everyone just had a lawyer you know, at the ready that they can call and be like, you know, I'm thinking about doing this, but I'm just not really sure what the legal ramifications might be, mm -hmm. um, what issues might come up, what should be on my radar. Absolutely. You know, and so is that something that you could then just put into a chat with someone like you? Right? Absolutely. And Absolutely. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to, to necessarily say, yes, you have a case or not, mm -hmm. because I'm not an attorney. I can't give legal advice, but yeah. I would be able to say, well, Here's a document or a link or something you should mm -hmm. read because this will probably answer your question. And, and because I'm familiar with the resources mm -hmm. on the site, I may know, oh, wow, as soon as they read this, they're going to be like, okay, I have nothing to worry about. Or, gee, this is, is a serious thing. I should probably talk to someone or at least read more. What about issues of, you know, we are on a community media station here, so um, and we work with a lot of low-income communities. Mm -hmm. um, what about issues of, like, fair use or copyright, mm -hmm. anything like that? Do you work at all with those issues? We don't. Um, those too are technical? Yeah, those okay. are things that generally what, what the civil legal um, mm -hmm. subjects would be would be things like um, uh, critical, critical issues. Okay. Things like your safety, your housing, uh, work issues, um, uh, things like health issues, immigration issues, those kinds of things. Okay. Yeah, business, business more type stuff. Yeah, okay. yeah, critical. Other than taxes, business right. is not really right. Taxes, okay. right? Taxes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, so let's talk about. Uh, do you have any other specific cases um, th that you'd like to share that mm -hmm. somebody might not necessarily? Think that they even need legal advice, but it ended up coming in handy. Absolutely, um, we had I had somebody on live chat uh, come come on and and say, you know, I'm I'm splitting up and we're trying to figure out, you know, what the parenting time is going to be with you know my my ex, mm -hmm. you know, how much time is he going to get to have with the kids, and you know I and then it, it seems like with some of these chats, people start to open up a little bit. I think it's because they have somebody that's listening somebody that's right there willing to help them. Mm -hmm. And they're on a website that's very, very you know, user-friendly and easy. I think the, the website is not um, intimidating. It's laid out very clearly. And then I think the fact that we have the live help you know, is really just the chat feature is wonderful and a lot of people take advantage of it. Now, is that chat feature available 
all the time? Or, I uh, wish. Yeah, okay. we wish it was available. <laughs> let's talk about the hours. Yeah, here, let's talk about available. the hours. The, the live chat feature of, of Law Help MN is available from approximately 9 to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Okay. We have talked about in dreamland. We'd love to have it 24-7 <laughs> for yeah. people. Um, and, you know, hopefully we'll get some, some other community partners. We have so many partners on this site. It mm -hmm. takes... It really does take a village for this site, and our, our partners are the courts and, and the law libraries and the legal aid offices mm -hmm. and the attorneys that work on these issues help us create the resources and referral information that, that populate the site. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully, you know, we can get more people involved in, in maybe volunteering, you know, to, to man that, that live chat. Um, but for right now, it's our staff. So there's about four or five of us, and we're we're basically um, legal information, I guess, pseudo librarians, yeah, po pointing <laughs> people to the site. Um, but we, um, in in the case of this of this person I was talking to, mm -hmm. it became clear from the conversation that maybe the person should consider an order for protection. Mm -hmm. And we have an automated order for protection form there that the person can fill out. So. It, it felt, at the end, there was a lot of gratitude expressed, and, and I felt really good about that, that, wow, I pointed this person. They came in with one issue, yeah, and we kind of determined during the course of the conversation that maybe something else was going on, so. And um, so if, there, if there's somebody that has an issue, they come to your site, and it's not during the live chat hours, can they then email you, leave a message? Yeah, we, we do have we do have feedback. Um, okay. People can call our office. Okay. But one of the great things about the site is that if you're looking, if you really do know you need to talk to somebody, mm -hmm. you can go. There's a legal directory there, and you can enter your zip code and and then click find legal help, and immediately go to an office where you can get advice and talk to someone if it's off hours and you know you just need to to talk to somebody. You know, mm -hmm. and and legal aid offices have their hours too. But, you know, people, people call back. They're pretty good. They call our office or they come on live chat. And if it's, if it's something where they need legal advice, we send them to their legal aid office, the closest one to them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And um, so uh, do you have any sort of uh, examples of a time where you might think that you might not even consider that you need legal help, mm -hmm. but um, it's an issue where you probably should step in and, and check first. I mean, I, I feel like you always hear about, um, well, there's a lot of court TV shows out there. You, know? uh -huh, you always hear uh -huh. about people thinking about these things after the fact. Mm -hmm. um, but what's what's sort of a preventative issue that you could consult Legal Help MN for? Well, I think a, a, a tax issue would definitely be a preventative issue. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to make sure that, you know, you know what your rights are. I think I think for, for any kind of child, you know, family thing, mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of things that you can prevent you know, a lot of problems that you can prevent by dealing, for instance, with mediation, as mentioned before, you know, information, well, what is mediation? What mm -hmm. would happen if I didn't go to court about this issue? Because sometimes the court, going to court is not the best solution. You know, sometimes the best solution is trying to work it out, but you still need help working it out. Well, how do I do that? And if you can get in touch with a family mediation project that can help you talk it out with a mediator, somebody that knows about, you know, how to help resolve issues that couples are having, you know, um, or unmarried people that have a child in common, it can be a really great way to avoid going to court. Mm -hmm. I think that's a lot of what, of what we hope our site does is, is help keep people from, ha from going to court. You know, and it, it frees up resources for the courts, and it also just makes life easier for, for the people. Exactly, <laughs> they don't, yeah. They don't have to follow a judgment, you know, that comes down from a court. So Well, and if you can resolve all of this from your own desk and your own computer at mm -hmm. home, mm -hmm. I mean, that does save a lot of trouble, particularly Absolutely. for people who, are, you know, have families at home or don't have uh, reliable transportation necessarily to get Absolutely. to these offices. And Oh, go ahead. Well, well, I was just going to ask you um, what's what's next for this project. I mean, mm -hmm. you've mentioned trying to uh, extend your chat hours um, mm -hmm. to potentially having people available all the time. That would be great. That's um, that's in dreamland. But, yeah. but ma mainly the 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 primary focus for us for this site is mm -hmm. just con continuing to innovate. You know, mm -hmm. using technology whenever we can. 
like we've developed the form helper so that people can do automated forms right online. Mm -hmm. That's that's huge. That's been really really big in the usage of the of those online. And they forms can submit well. those online as well to the proper channels. They can. Okay. Yep. Yep. You have to. Well, in some cases, you have to print out the form and take it to the courthouse. And, okay. And so you know, we're trying to keep innovating in that way, mm -hmm. so it, it becomes as you say, just easier to do things right from your desktop. And, um, and then the other thing is keeping abreast of the law. The, the great thing about online is that if something changes, like at the end of the legislative session, if a law has changed, we can go on and update resources to reflect that. We you want, do like a newsletter. We want to <laughs> new keep this session. New this session. <laughs> yeah. but, well, we do do that. You do yeah, do that. We absolutely. Okay. We do that for our. We do that on projusticemn.org for for um, for our providers. Okay. You know, people providing the legal services. Session summaries. What ha happened in these areas? Absolutely. So if yeah. you're looking for some good reading, <laughs> there yeah. you go. Yeah. Law Help is a great place for anybody to go. Lawhelpmn.org. Mm -hmm. Even if you're just curious about about legal topics, mm -hmm. even if you're not having an issue at all, and you want to, and like you mentioned, prevention. You know, maybe you're going to rent an apartment, and you'd like to see what does it mean to sign a lease. What am I getting? What's the best way to go about getting into a landlord-tenant yeah. relationship? Is there are there any red flags that should be going? Absolute up? Yeah. tons. I've of been information. in situations myself where I wish I would have <laughs> known Absolutely. about certain things to look for. That's a huge, huge topic: the landlord-tenant. Yeah. And there's a lot of preventative stuff there. Well, and I imagine that there's a lot of issues coming up with you know certain rental properties going into foreclosure and then what are the tenants rights and things like that. Absolutely yeah. and when the foreclosure thing was really just hitting we were able to put a lot of information immediately up about that. Mm -hmm. You know later this year it'll probably be the Affordable Care Act as yes. things start to and roll out. exchanges. And right. Yes. We can put that stuff immediately onto Law Help MN mm -hmm. as it happens instead of having to wait for things and then people get the information much later. Mm -hmm. With the for foreclosure crisis we were able to get foreclosure information up for people right away mm -hmm. and that was just so great because the faster we get the information to people the more they're able to react and have a good outcome. Is there a way to sort of sign up for updates from the site or do you have to just check in regularly? Unfortunately no there's okay. no there's no updates like that right now however on the front page there is a little news on the on the right hand navigation bar there's a little news tab like and okay. I mentioned the tax time toolkit mm -hmm. that would be where timely information is posted like that would be basically your what's new on law help but okay. you have to go to the site to get it okay yeah so, so kind of put it in your your regular rotation of websites that you check up on absolutely yeah and we want to go ahead and reiterate again the site is uh, I want to make sure I get it correct it's law help M N, just the letters M N, not Minnesota spelled That's out. That's right. <laughs> Lawhelpmn.org. That's it. Um, and you can go there, and it, the layout of the site is actually pretty convenient, uh, mm -hmm. pretty easy to navigate. I looked at it myself before the show. Good. Um, and yeah. nice little disclaimer up there as well. Saying, it's online twenty four seven. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not there. I'm not there twenty four seven, but it's online twenty four seven. Yeah. So so Law Help M N uh, is your free online legal resource library um, and you can get on there and live chat with Mary Ray um, most of the week right During Mondays and Fridays business, yeah. business, business hours yeah. yeah well thank you very much for joining us today Mary it's thank you Michelle great. you're watching the uh, St. Paul Forum on SPNN I'm Michelle Ali Murati your host this week thanks for joining us